So, I've been doing this for the last 24 hours, I guess, messing around with the any one and trying to put together some shows that might work for something like a wedding or a party or whatever instead of hitting multiple remote controls. But yeah, you know what? I'm just going to give up and try the DMX thing. Here's what I came up with. My memory button one. I've got a slow fade on those lights out there. Those are the Wi-Fi EXR dots pars. Now if I hit my next button, what I do is I keep the Wi-Fi EXR dots pars, like for a slow dance or whatever, and I've added the Pocket Pros. What I'm doing is I'm floating these spots around the room. I currently have them in red. Kind of a romantic color, I thought. You might actually see one in a minute, but as you can see, a 25 watt LED, when it hits something, it reflects off of it and creates kind of a weird wash. So we've got these cool red spots floating around the ceiling, creating washes whenever they hit something reflective. Now next up, we'll have a fast dance, but just with the pars fading, or chasing I guess, or changing color, for pretty much anything you're going to do for a fast dance. Say I want to add moving heads to the mix, not a big deal. Press this button right here. Same chase pattern on the dots pars, but now I have the pocket pros doing a pattern here, and they're doing a color change as they're moving around. Next up, I've got the scan right here. So if there's something going on, I don't know, breaking a song or something, I want to do a cool, slower scan around the room, the spot I can. And the other thing I can do with this if I want to, is I can change the color of that scan pretty easily. All I have to do is select the fixtures, and then go to color, and I can make that pretty much any color I wish. Just with the touch of a button. Well, whatever's, you know, on my color wheel, I can make it that color, so. See, there's the multicolored scan. They're all over the place. Look at that. There's an orange. There's a red. There's a blue. You can see it. But yeah, you can make it any color you want. Alright, next up. Uh, let's see. This one here. This is another one I'm going to use for a fast dance where I've got my Pocket Pros out of phase. It's kind of like the other one we saw but they're all over the place. The, the phase is off. They're kind of doing the same movement, but not. It kind of makes it interesting. A little something different. Throwing some fun color around the room. And last but not least, I went ahead and did this one for you. Okay. If you can see over in the corner, I've got a mirror ball. This Pocket Pro is hitting that mirror ball in the corner. Here, check it out. You see that? Now the other thing I did, I took my other Pocket Pro and I made it hit the mirror ball in this corner. So there's the mirror, there's the Pocket Pro, and there's the mirror ball, creating kind of a starry effect around the room. So I don't know. I'm just playing around with it. I'm trying. I don't know if it's any good. It's probably not any good, but uh, at any rate, it is. It is my first attempt at this. And I hope you enjoyed it. If you want to know how to do this, I'm not the guy to talk to. You need to talk to Joe Lott. Look him up on YouTube. If you YouTube search NE1, look for Joe Lott's videos on how to use the NE1. That's what I did. Also, big shout out to Howie Darkstar for his help. And also, Mike Sanchez for some inspiration. Practice and enjoy.